guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may have the Gaming Dragon today. I'm coming back at you in the Let's Play episode of After Class, Coach Gill's Path. So, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm, Chaney, we're up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> I object! None of us should take up Henry's space. I really don't mind. We're thankful enough that you let us sleep here, Henry. Gil should be fine without it. You can take the sofa and I'll sleep on the floor. I don't mind sleeping on the floor. That's what I've been doing. No, we can't do that. Wait, but why me? I made myself clear enough. Yikes, Mr. Parker really is upset. Well, if that's decided on, I'll head to my room now. Not so fast! Huh? Are you guys seriously not, not curious as to why I called you all here? Oh! I hate to admit, but I've forgotten about it. I thought that was going to be a surprise until tomorrow. <laughs> as for me, I don't really care as long as I get to be close with Henry. Yeah, I'm glad we wouldn't let him sleep next to Henry. Gil dragged me here. Well, tell us now. You see, I half-heartedly joined a raffle that I was sure I wouldn't win. And guess what? He grabbed tickets and spread them out as if they were a hand as if they were a hand fan. I won! Whoa, congrats! It says that I can enjoy the breeze of a countryside beach with my friends. I have enough to invite you all, so please thank me later. But, but beach? It's spring right now. Quiet, big kitty. I actually don't know either, but hey, it's all paid, so why not? You're right, we can't pass up this opportunity. I don't really enjoy going to the sea, but once in a while is fine. Hmm. <laughs> Glad I brought my shorts then. It says we can. It says we can stay the night. I'd say we do that and go home before the next dawn, since we have school the same day. I'm glad you didn't plan. I'm glad you didn't plan to skip classes, Mark. Oh please, I did. Maybe just us. Maybe just us three. You adults can go back to real life. No, Mister, you are not doing that. <laughs> everyone was talking. Everyone was talking about it happily. For once, it felt like a real gathering. They were starting to discuss what sort of places to visit tomorrow. This feels nostalgic, but something is still missing for some reason. Now it is late, and we should head to bed. Yeah, I agree. Make sure we're awake before 5 tomorrow, since we're leaving at the same hour. Okay, good night then. Oh, right, the light switch is there. Now feel free to turn off the light once you guys are going to sleep. I, we gotcha. Good night, everyone. Once you said your good night, your good night, you headed back to your room. I don't see. I was hoping that he'd stay in my room tonight, but no oh well. It didn't seem like a good idea anyway. Whew! Today was a blast. Never thought I'd have people sleeping over. Although I wish they would at least stay in my room so it'd feel like an actual sleepover. Well, that aside, I'm glad everyone got along. I should try going to sleep now. I can barely wait. It's so exciting. Crap, I think I can't sleep. I wonder if everyone's still up. Maybe I should go see what they're up to. Hmm, everyone is sleeping. Oh! From your point of view, there wasn't much you could see except for the curtain that was wide open, allowing the moonlight to shine through the window. It was bright enough to, see, to cast a familiar silhouette in the distance of whoever was sitting on the floor as they stared out the window. You weren't sure who it was, but after looking, looking around you, you figured it out. I wonder if he's not sleepy yet. The others seemed to be sleeping, especially Mr. Parker. His snoring so hard that it was almost intimidating. Lars, on the other hand, was sleeping soundly. He was drooling, though not wanting to wake them up, you tiptoed through them and sat next to Coach Gill. Second y'all, water time. Alrighty. Hmm. Can't sleep? Heh, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm getting too excited. <laughs> yeah, me too. You've been staring at the moon for a while. What's on your mind? I'm just randomly thinking about a story I heard when I was little. Oh, you want to tell me? <laughs> Absolutely. You might have heard it anyway. I'd still like to hear it anyway. Well, the story goes like this. In a very distant past, ten suns had risen together and scorched the land. It was causing hardship and suffering for the people. Then there was an archer called Yi who shot down nine of them, leaving just one son behind. He was given an immortality elixir as a reward, but he didn't drink it straight down straight away. Instead, he let his wife, ch his wife, said he let his wife Changi keep it, as he didn't want to gain immortality without her. 
One day, while Yi was out hunting, his apprentice, Feng Meng, broke into his house, forcing Chang Yi to give him the elixir. Of course, she refused. To prevent him from getting it, she drank the elixir, then flew up, upward towards the heavens, choosing the moon as residence. Yi realized what happened and felt sad, so he displayed the fruits and cakes that his wife had liked and gave sacrifices to her. That's it. Oh, I've heard it before. Did you know that it was, that it was originated from an ancient legend? Oh, I didn't. It's said that she's been living there for more than a thousand years. See the moon? There's the moon hair. They say it's they say that it's her companion. Um, hmm, what if the bunny was her? It could be. Maybe she was a rabbit girl. <laughs> yeah, that's a possibility. What do you think of that story? I think it's romantic, but at the same time it's tragic. Oh, how so? He loved her enough to give her the immortality elixir, which is nice. But in the end, she ended up drinking it and left her husband alone on Earth. I see. Yeah, it's a little bit tragic, in a way. Not to mention now her husband might die one day. Heh, <laughs> that's true. Eh, they should have drank it right away before it was too late. Well, they didn't know it was going to happen. You're right. I guess they were not prepared yet. That's why they didn't drink it straight away. Hmm, sometimes people are hesitating until they realize that it's too late. Hmm. I wonder if she's happy up there. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I really hope she is. Hey, coach? What is it? You know that I don't you know that I don't know about my, much about my childhood, right? Something like that. I wonder what kind of childhood I had. Was it great? Was it bad? Was it a tragic story or a happy story? My parents said that it wasn't important and one shouldn't cling on to the past. They don't know how I feel at all. It's like reading an incomplete book that has only one page in cha chapter one and the next page is chapter four. Having almost no memory of what happened in the past almost feels like you don't have a, gr a grip on your own life. I'm almost 23 and I still don't know what I want to do with my own life. It's like I'm just breathing and that's it. No goals, nothing. And I've been having weird dreams of kids I don't know. To make matters worse, I don't know if it was just a dream or my lost memories. Even if, 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 even if it was my childhood memories, I can't be certain that it was true. I don't know what to say. He said that as he guided your head toward his shoulder. It felt nice. It's fine, I'm just rambling anyway. But know this, I don't know if I'll be able to help you find the last pages, the lost pages, but I'll help you write new pages for the new chapter, for the next chapters. Well, that was romantic of him. Second, y'all. Water time. Heh, <laughs> thanks for cheering me up, coach. I mean it. Hmm. What are you doing here? It's late, and we really should head to bed now. Hmm, yeah, I'm feeling sleepy now. Thanks for the bedtime story, Coach. And thanks for listening to my, to my bedtime story. Huh, <laughs> hit me up if you want to listen or share some more. Huh, <laughs> will do. Good night, Coach. Night, Henry. Well, another question. Why did you lie to me? Well, why did you lie to me is what you wanted to tell him. I suppose I shouldn't. Never mind. Now you got me curious. Heh, <laughs> it's really nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, y'all. I'll go back now. All right, Henry. Let me know once you change your mind, okay? That was weird. Didn't know I'd randomly tell him that. But I'm glad I did, because I feel better now for some reason. I still don't feel like asking him about the reason he lied to me, though. But maybe I don't have to know. Hmm. When you headed out, you saw that he was lying down without the quilt. You had something in mind, but you didn't want to, talk, didn't want to walk further. Since you had to get his attention and, and be quiet, you psst, psst, psst at him and his ears twitched. He was looking for the source of the voice. Once he found out that it was from you, he tilted his head. Not wanting to risk waking up the others, you beckoned to him. He put on his shirt swiftly, appro swiftly approached you and went into your room. What is it? I feel bad for leaving you outside without anything to cover, you up, cover yourself up. Ah, I should be fine. No, that doesn't sit right with me. Just this once, I'll let you sleep next to me and you have to go back before they wake up, okay? Hmm. Sure. I'll sleep near the wall, so it'll be easier for you to go back to the living room later. Okay. Thanks, Henry. Don't try anything weird. I won't. Not without your permission. Just don't. Okay, okay. I sleep without my shirt, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, uh, th that's fine. No weird thoughts, though. No weird thoughts, Henry. After you. Okay, you can go up. Now you can go up now. Remember to go back before they wake up. Okay. I will. Hmm. Crap, I was sleepy and now not so much. Is it hot in here or just me? 
I think it's just you, Henry. Oh, okay. Good night. Good night. As much as you wanted to fall asleep, it wasn't happening. Ah, this is so frustrating! No, Henry, you have to go to sleep now. After several tries, you managed to fall asleep. <laughs> Day seven. One second, y'all. Water time. Alright. E. Ugh, what now? Hey! I'm awake! You really are hard to wake up. My hands are sore from shaking you back to reality. We're gonna deal with whatever these kids want us to do today, and you were there, and you were here sleeping in. I swear. Wait, where am I? Is this a dream? Oi, are you even listening to me? Huh, oh, uh, what's happening here? Am I being sent to the past? Or is it one of the memories I've forgotten? Earth to Henry! Oh, uh... Herbert, no, you're not calling me that again. I'm going to tell Mom. Sorry, brother. That's fine. Go clean yourself, and we'll see the others downstairs. Okay. All done. Now I should go downstairs. What's, what's taking you so long? We're leaving soon. Sorry, I didn't know how to turn on the shower. Jeez, you're so helpless. You should have asked me. I know. Sorry. You're fine, silly. Let's go downstairs. Okay. Sorry for taking so long, everyone. Up. Huh? Oh, whoa, I'm shaking. What's wrong? Wake up. Coach Gill? Wake up, Henry. Ooh, excuse me. Hmm? Good morning, sunshine. Stop saying nonsense. What time is it? Early enough for me to sneak out. Okay, I'm going back to sleep then. Uh, but I want to talk to you before I go. It just dawned on you that this morning was a little warmer than usual. You thought it was just the weather until you felt something prodding your butt. That was enough to jolt you up. On second thought, I think I'm waking up now. Oh, uh, let's just say it. Let's just stay like this a while longer. Only if you stop poking me with your dick. Show some decency, please. I can't help it. It's called morning wind. You know when you... I know what it is. You don't have to explain it to me. Sure enough, when you said that, he started grinding his hips against you a little bit. Typical. Get off me! Hey, shh, you're gonna wake them up. Henry? Crap! Shit, I forgot to lock the door last night. Quick, get under the blanket. Really? Of all the places you could have suggested for him to hide, it was under the sheet. Of course, he smirked at you before going undercover as you ordered. This won't go well. Pray it's not, Marker. I'll be damned. Uh, can I come in? Yes. I could have just said no, but that would make it more suspicious. You quickly grabbed the other pillow and put it on your blanket. Ow! Shh! Bad idea. His snout was pressing against your crotch, and to make matters worse, you were already hard thanks to the morning wood. Ha. <laughs> what an awkward situation. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye